So here are the ingredients I'll be using to prepare this uh, meat barbecue and jollof rice. Here I'll be using sweet chili pepper, bar pepper, tomatoes, yes I have a uh, pepper, onion, ginger and garlic and also it's uh, important to use this green pepper mixture as you all know I have this in my recipe I will link it in the description box too so that you see how I prepared it the tests are nice so I am using mixed stock one full spoon of mixed stock I have salt and paprika these are essential to this to give it a brighter color as well and uh, this uh, paprika will go as well to you know give it a little taste of pepper I have a granatory to 80 ml of it I'm going to cut all of them together as you can see here I will blend oil in the blender now both the white and the dry ingredients and this is all for the ingredients I'll be using the pepper the ginger everything but for the cooking of the rice so we'll go ahead and blend them very well you can crush them if you want but I blend them in between not too soft and not to uh, not crush as much just like this it's a perfect uh, texture for this I'll set it aside and bring our, our meat, the meat for it, <laughs> not our meat, and here they are, I have washed, dried and cleaned them very well. So I'll go ahead and pour the mixture in the glass plate. dump the meat inside and make sure that they are well coated with the sauce this sauce was spicy yes you need to be spicy so that you enjoy it and I like the spice because it tasted fresh as well add a little tomato to it I'll add the second one pour it on top and this process was so enjoyable <laughs> have you ever tried uh, your mixture like this Try it, you will definitely like it. And don't add much uh, seasoning stock because this meat, once it is uh, in the oven, it will bring out its own taste. If you over salt it or over add stock in it, then you will uh, see the taste or get the taste of the meat. So after soaking them very well, and they are well covered, I cover with film pepper or thin nylon and set it to the fridge for two hours I marinated it but if you do it all over the night you will like it more it will be well marinated two hours later here they are I will transfer them to the rack over my right years and that is where it's going to cook or barbecue <laughs> yes we need this rank for a special reason because while I will be cooking them in the oven they will be drilling down but not in this tray no they will be drilling down in my rice here I have washed some rice 500 gram of rice is well washed i'll add them to the mixture add one teaspoon of a curry and thyme this is the only thing i added here all the other ingredients i used before is what is cooking this rice with the oil that will be coming out from this meat so i'll mix them very well add two cup of water to it again and now i will be transferring them to a baking tray look at it so that everything will be dropping in very beautiful try this method you will like it you will enjoy the taste of this jello fries it will be cooking just like this yes this is how it will be cooking 
the oil of the meat and the test of the meat will be dropping down in the rice and be shaking your rice if there is no water add water there was a lot of uh, flame of the oven you know i was not seeing it clear even when i was turning it the video was not okay that is why i didn't show you it was full of a flame so here after it have cooked for 45 minutes i added my tomato green pepper carrot and onions for crunch you see the rice is cooking perfectly i will stir them very well to combine cover it with a parchment paper and take it back to the oven for it to dry the water Yeah, I'll add a little uh, butter, just a little, it's not even up to up to 50 uh, gram of butter to get another moisture. I'll take it back to the oven and bring out the meat. Yes, the meat has been cooking for one hour and I have flipped the both sides. Here they are, they are cooked. Yes, for one hour this meat is very well cooked. So the next thing to do is to cut them, yes, cut it <laughs> into smaller pieces for the children. This line was another touch, it took it to another level. When you add this line on it while eating them. So I'm going to cut them, they came out very nice. They were my, <laughs> my daughter said that it was moist, yes, I don't even know how they're learning all this language. Mommy, this meat is very moist and juicy. <laughs> I said okay so here they are try this recipe or this barbecue like this I don't like wasting any any juice when I am cooking I must make good use of it so that is what I did in this so some part of it have bone I was able to be cutting them out and the bone you can use it to cook another thing like beans just throw it inside there and you have a perfect taste and here they are I have cut them I will mix them with the remaining uh, mixture, that is the pepper mixture, and put them back in the oven so that they will absorb the taste. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do well to like if you did, and see you in my next video. Bye.